is the entrance to our house. This is the view out our window. sliding glass door. Ladder to the loft bedroom. Oh. Here's our little kitchen. Bedroom. And a lot of greenery. jungle out there. I like to just chop it up and eat it with olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay, so it's it like, tastes, a like a potato. Almost. It's a potato for very us. Very kind it's, of yeah, bland. Yeah, very bland and extremely good for you. Yeah, and they're growing this now all over the world, all over Africa. It'll grow in very sandy, dry areas, and it'll grow in wet areas, and it's so nutritious, it'll feed people. So they're That's trying to great. use it as one of the crops to feed the world now. Yeah. And I have a friend of mine who's uh, in a whole breadfruit project here at the Botanical Gardens, and mm -hmm. she's they're giving out trees left, right, and center to everybody, mm -hmm. you know, on this island, but other islands, Africa, anywhere, anybody who wants breadfruit trees, they're shipping them to them. And they make them from uh, slices, like, you know, tissue slices. Mm -hmm. So they're making thousands. Yeah, so their idea is to populate the world. Oh, oh what was is that it? a frog? That's I think so. Frog. Green frog. You usually don't see them. And these are Hawaiian lilies. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, they get kind of munched up after all the ducks like to eat them, so... They close at noon and open at midnight, but by noon they're mostly eaten. Oh. They're just a one day flower.
<laughs> okay, we get it. There were plants and birds. <laughs>